Hello, my name is Emily Rose. I'm a professional Lenormand and tarot reader. I also teach tarot readers in the Mystically Minded to read Lenormand. They're the sassy to the point cards. And I teach them to read these cards like they're talking to a friend. And today I am here with your 2023 New Year's love reading. Now, this reading is for those in a relationship and also for those who are single. And I know a lot of us have relationships that maybe fall somewhere in the middle there, but just kind of pick which one you most resonate with if you have a relationship that's complicated. If you're in a committed partnership, go ahead and go with in a relationship. If you feel like things are a little bit open and maybe you're you're able to date others, then go with single. Just use your intuition and you can also watch uh, both interpretations and see which one fits you the best. As with all of my readings here on YouTube, Feel free to take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. None of this is meant to be interchangeable with professional advice. Please do not substitute it for that. This is for fun, and it's also to kind of give you a glimpse at 2023. So feel free to kind of take what makes sense for you and leave what doesn't. If you are wanting a more in-depth reading, I am offering full one-on-one -on -one New Year's readings. And so you can find the info for that down below. And also when you purchase a gift certificate, you can actually give a New Year's reading. You will receive 30% off your next reading. So if you want to give the gift of clarity for the holidays or for a birthday that's coming up, I will link that down below as well. So without further ado, let's dig into the cards. So go ahead and arrive with me here and take a deep breath in. We really wanna clear your mind. If anything enters into your mind, just go ahead and let it pass by, escort it out and select one of these three piles that is calling to you. So this first pile here, I'm calling the earth pile and it's represented by this fossil or Fibonacci spiral. The second deck is what I'm calling the sky pile and it's represented by this blue lace agate. And this third pile I'm calling the wind pile and it is represented by this incense here. Whichever pile is calling to you, your mind kind of keeps returning there, that's the pile for you. Once you have your pile, go ahead and comment below and let me know which one you pick. It's always fun to kind of see what the trends are. If you selected the earth pile, then the messages I'm going to talk through are for you. So first I'm going to tell you the collective vision I received for this pile here. And then we will talk through the predictions for 2023 for single folks and then those in a relationship. So that is the, the flow of what we're doing here. Here's the vision I saw, and again, this applies to both those that are single and in a relationship. I saw you with your hands on the ground and you were finger painting, <laughs> and you were really taking in the energy of what was around you, and you were creating drawings based on what you felt. And this felt very creative and like you were taking time for yourself. Then I saw you look up after you were doing that for a while and you saw new creatures and new entities and new energies coming towards you and they were somewhat reflections of what you were just painting on the ground. So what does this mean? <laughs> when we dig into cards it'll start to make more sense but a lot of 2023, and I especially think the first part of 2023 for you, is going to be about really tapping into your own creative, your own uniqueness, your own individuality, and feeling into what that 
is for you. You're really tuning back into yourself. So I could see yourself taking time for yourself, doing self-care things, but in a creative, fun way. This felt like play, this felt like art. And then once you kind of get into this beautiful flow and energy, then you start attracting things towards you, people, energies. And yes, this could be lovers, this could be new relationships, or this could be a shift in your current relationship that reflects this new energy that you yourself have conjured. So I think this is kind of a, a duality here for folks for um, that pick the earth pile. I think the beginning of the year is going to be about you. It's going to be very, you know, looking inward, very creative. And then I think you're going to be working with these new energies, potentially new people or um, new zhuzh that you're bringing into your relationship here. So this is a really fun year <laughs> is kind of what I'm feeling for our earth folks. Here is the theme of your love life this year for single folks. And we have the tree. So this is a year about growth. The seeds that you plant, the, the intention you put into things, they will grow, they will grow slowly, but they will grow strong. So whatever you are wanting to bring into your life at this time, it's a good idea to plant that seed. And even though you may not see results for a little bit, remember the finger painting, you're, you're drawing it on your own for a while, that energy will be reflected back to you. This is also a year of self growth for you. And I know if, especially if you've been single for a while and you want to attract your ideal partner, that can be an eye roll <laughs> moment for you, but it's true. This is a year of really working on yourself. This is a year of self growth as well. And here's what will happen surrounding that theme. We have the person card, which I charge to represent you. So this is you. We have the star and we have the key. So this is a year where what you envision will come to fruition. What you envision will come to fruition, okay? <laughs> and that's kind of your, your mantra as well. What you plan, the intentions that you put out there, and the hope that you have to, that's what's going to pay off for you. That's the seed that you are planting. So you really want to spend time, this this may sound cheesy, but this may be a year to do a, a vision board surrounding love. What do you want your love life to look like? Some of us want to attract our ideal partner. Some of us just want to have fun for a year. Whatever it is for you, go ahead and spend some time envisioning that with a vision board or just literally uh, uh, imagining it or journaling about it. Go ahead and dream into what your ideal love life would look like. And you have some extra magic surrounding you this year to attract that. So this is a time to get intentional and to envision what you would like to see in your love life. And here is advice for you for the upcoming year. We have the Magician. I swear, you guys, I don't pick these cards ahead of time. It just comes up. We have the Magician that appeared here. This means that you can, you can have whatever you want. What you envision will come to fruition. And I also asked if you want to attract your ideal partner. I recognize that this isn't for everybody who's single, but if you're wanting to attract like a, you know, a soulmate type connection, this is advice for you. And we have the Eight of Cups. So this is saying that you're going to need to walk away from previous emotional patterns. And this is why it's important to envision something new, envision what you want, something different, because I think that what you have had before, you're ready to let go of. So this is going to require a lot of letting go. It's going to require a, a probably a little bit of shadow integration and recognizing what patterns have surfaced for you before that have not worked and what do you want to call in at this time and often in order to call in new things we have to let go of things so this could be people that are no longer serving you this could be situations where where the cup is already spilled out there's no point in mourning that any longer there could be things that you're ready to just walk away from. So that's what to pay attention to because when you walk away from something, you're making room for something new. 
and that is the single folks earth pile. Now let's move on to those that are in a relationship and we can see what 2023 has in store for you. Let's see what the main theme of 2023 is love wise for those in a relationship. And we have the bear. The bear is all about power, stepping into your power, and also taking accountability for where you're at in your love life. And if you're in a relationship, sometimes it, it feels like, you know, things are kind of just happening. Maybe things have just been going the way they've been going for a while. This is time to really step into the situation as someone who can actively change it. Take accountability, stepping into your power, and really owning your whole situation. This is very much main character energy. <laughs> so let's see what will happen surrounding that. So let's see what will occur surrounding this theme. We have the tree, the boat or ship, and the skater or writer. So I feel like something's been brewing in you, Relationship Earth folks, for quite a while. There is this almost spiritual sense that I get from these first two cards. I feel like you've really been working on yourself. I feel like you have, you're starting to have a different idea of what you want your relationship to look like, what you want your love life to look like. And you're ready to make those changes in your relationship. So, you know, some people hear that and think, oh no, <laughs> are we breaking up? And I think for some that might be the case. I'm not exactly getting that for everybody who picked this pile, but I think that that's definitely an, a, a possibility. But for the majority of folks, what I'm seeing is, is significant changes in the relationship. And these are things that you've been wanting to do for a while. So, you know, for some, this could be doing something like going to couples therapy. For some, this could be, okay, we're finally ready to move in together. For others, this could mean, okay, you know, we need to have more date nights. Things are just, you know, we're not connecting the way I want us to connect. So you can kind of scale this depending on where you're at in your relationship. But you're ready to make these moves. This, there's a lot of main character energy <laughs> here. So even though this is for those in a relationship, this year really starts with you. It really starts with the idea that you've been stepping into your power for quite a while. You've been planting the seeds to create your ideal life for quite a while. And this is the year where you're gonna take action on that. And this is going to happen inside your relationship. So this is a big, powerful year for these folks. Now let's look at advice for the upcoming year for those in a relationship. And we have the three of wands. So this is really about envisioning where you want to go, what you want to do, and taking very focused action. So this is not, you know, the type of thing where you're just kind of flinging things, just trying everything and seeing, you know, what sticks to the wall. We're not doing that this year. This is a year of this is what I want and I'm going to go and do it. And even though you have a partner who's who's going to, you know, be involved in this, this is really about you directing things, you taking the lead on things. And that's what I mean by main character energy. You're the main character and, and your partner this year is kind of almost a supporting role to you. Now that might flip in, a, in another year for you too, right? But this year, it's all about you, your energy, what kind of love life do you want to create? And then what do you want that to look like with your partner and taking the very direct actions to make that happen? I have one more advice card for you for 2023 and it's the sun. So I'll keep it very simple. Relationships are really about creating more joy in your life. And so it's asking you to remember that, that all of this is to create more joy. These action steps you're taking, this focused intention, it's really about bringing more happiness and joy to your life. And it's also relationships are, in my opinion, also about helping you to become a, a better version of yourself and helping you to show up fully as you are and having a support system to do that. So it's just 
I feel like this is just asking you to keep that in mind with why you're taking these actions. This is the seed of intention and any action you take should contribute towards that feeling. So that is the relationship reading for those who picked the earth pile. The decks I used here are the Black Salt Lenormand by Logan Townsend. And then I also have the Fountain Tarot here, and I will um, include that uh, down below as well. If you enjoyed this reading and you would like to have a more in-depth reading from me, I do have New Year's readings available and gift certificates so you can give the gift of a reading too. And I will include all of that information down below. If you chose the second pile, the sky pile with the blue lace agate, then this is your reading. So the vision that I saw applies to both those that are single or in a relationship. And what I saw was the sky. I saw a big open sky with the sun shining and I saw you stretching out and almost dancing and having fun with others around you. So it seemed like there's this joyful, playful kind of energy of exploring, you know, feeling around with others and making art and having fun. And then I saw the weather started to change and it became inhospitable to do that any longer out in the open. So you coupled up with someone and you bunked down. <laughs> you created a refuge with them and you hung out with them until the weather changed again. So overall, I'm seeing if you're single, <laughs> then you know, the first part of the year might be having fun, exploring, dating, trying new things. And then eventually that kind of leads into something a little bit more serious. So that's what I'm seeing for those that are single. And for those in a relationship, it this may the first part may be a time when you are just kind of having fun floating along, not doing anything too serious with your partner, not talking about super serious things all the time. And then I think in the latter part of the year, you know, the second half of the year, that's when things start to become a little bit more serious, the tone shifts, and you start really talking about what kind of future you want to plan together. What kind of home do you guys want to build together? So that's what I'm seeing for our sky folks. Now let's dig into some cards. So let's first look at the theme for those that are single that chose the sky pile. And we have the mice. So I feel like there's this nagging feeling or anxiety that's surrounding love. And it's almost like an antsiness, like, oh, like I need to do this or I need to do that. And it, it's kind of like a thought loop that doesn't really need to fully exist <laughs> is what it feels like. So I think that there's this anxiousness or this nervousness surrounding love for the upcoming year. Now let's look at what will occur surrounding this theme and in general in 2023. We have the child, the clover, the tree, and the key. And this just so perfectly echoes the vision in that there's these new flings or new people or, you know, people that may be already in your life that, that you're having something romantic with or flirtation with or something lighthearted and playful. And that can turn into something that is rooted a little bit deeper, something that may last. And it's saying that this will be pretty wonderful with the key at the end. So taking these flings that you may have or fling, it might be just singular. And it's something that can turn into something that grows. So you don't have to stress that, you know, these like fun things, these escapades that you may be, you know, partaking in over the year won't turn into anything. So that's what I mean by this really no need for stress because you kind of need to have that playful energy and you will feel the energy shifting and know when it's time to, you know, really nurture one particular relationship or, you know, one particular connection. And that's all you need to worry about. So 
this is a year to start with that you kind of have some fun, you explore, you try different things. And then when the time is right, you will kind of plant a seed and tend to it and it'll grow into something that lasts for quite a while. And here is advice surrounding the year for single folks here. And we have the Queen of Wands. And what I love about this is this is almost exactly what I envisioned is people, you know, twirling around, dancing, having fun, feeling free in the sunshine. And this is, you know, with the Queen of Wands, this is just to be fully who you are. And the Queen of Wands is not a worried person, <laughs> right? She's not really worried about things because she knows that things can take sh shape in the vision that she creates. And so this is a time to really just, you know, let loose, have fun and trust yourself. Know that you will know when the tides have turned, when the energy has shifted and you will act accordingly. And the last piece of advice for single folks for 2023, we have the Four of Cups. So what I'm seeing with this is to look at the magic that is here. And we may have some connections, some flirtations, some flings that are in our life. And we may not even see that that's actually something really magical that that could be something that's amazing for us and we're just not seeing it. So I think, you know, the mantra for this card is look at the magic that's here. What magic is here for me right now? What is in front of me right now that I'm not seeing? And so this is a year of looking at the romantic connections that you have and seeing what the potential is. The tree is all about potential. What could potentially grow from that? So look at the people around you maybe a little differently and see what could exist with them in the future. And that is what I have for single folks for 2023. Next, we're going to look at those in a relationship. If you chose the sky pile and you are in a relationship, this is your love reading for 2023. And the theme of this year for you is the stork, which is all about progression. So if you're in a committed partnership, you're wanting to know where this is leading and you're wanting to take the steps to figure out where are we going as a couple? Where are we heading? And how do we make these changes towards progression? You are not about stagnation this year. <laughs> now let's look at what will occur in 2023 surrounding that theme. And we have the fox, we have the man, we have the book, we have the woman, we have the house, and we have the tree. So what this is really about for you in 2023 is where is this relationship going? What are your intentions? I charge this to be your partner. So what are your partner's intentions? What do they actually want out of a relationship? And what do you want out of, of, out of a relationship? What do you want your future to look like? What do you want your home to look like? What do you want your family to look like? What kind of family do you want to grow? These are the questions that are going to come up. And these are hard questions, <laughs> right? These are not easy questions to answer. So I feel like this is the year of you getting real about your relationship and really reevaluating where each other is at. So this is really a status check. So for your partner, they may not even know exactly what they want. And I think there's going to be conversations or events that prompt your partner to really look into that, to really look into themselves and look inward. And it, it may be a bit hidden from them. So it, it, this is gonna be tricky to kind of figure out. Um, they're gonna have to do some introspection to pull that out. And then this is really prompted by you. <laughs> so I feel like you are prompting this introspection because your mind is on what type of future and home that you wanna build with them. Maybe you already live together. You're thinking about what are the next steps? Maybe you wanna buy a new home. Maybe you wanna move. Maybe you want to switch up your career. You know, there's a lot going on here and potential for what could be going on for you. And these ideas that you have, these things that you want to grow, you're really looking at what seeds do I want to plant? 
they are beginning to affect your partner and having them look in. So I think this is going to be a pretty tricky year for you, um, but it's all in the name of progress. You are just looking to progress your relationship, but oftentimes to have progress, we got to get our hands a little dirty. We got to get a little messy. And I think that's what's going to happen here for folks that chose um, the sky pile. Now let's get some advice here. So we have the Ten of Coins and Ten of Pentacles is another way of looking at that. And this is the ultimate happy home, happy life kind of card that we have here. And when we look at this, it really does echo that here, uh, the house and the tree. So this is honestly kind of grounding us in the physical world as well and asking what kind of home life do you want to create? What kind of wealth do you want to build? What kind of career do you want to have? Where do you want your, your partner's career to be at? There's all these things that are coming up here. So this is asking you to hold that vision, to hold this vision for yourself, and also to express gratitude for what is already here. Because a lot of times we can, you know, kind of future trip and, and get lost in the future, but you may also have a lot of really happy things that are happening right now. So it's important to take a look at those things as well and not forget that in your pursuit of bettering your relationship. Now let's look at your final advice card for 2023 in your love relationship. And we have the Knight of Swords and this is advice. So this is very much a similar energy to the Stork card. This is about rapid progression, really making rapid changes in your life and with the Knight of Swords, he's also seeking truth. He may be impulsive about how he does it, but he's charging ahead looking for truth. And that's a year, that's really what I think this year is for, for you. It's about seeking truth. What is true for your partner? What is true for you? And charging forward with that. And with the Stork and with the Knight of Swords, that can mean that things are a little bit messy, <laughs> right? He's he's not charging forward with with the most, you know, um, direct route in mind. He may, you know, drop his sword along the way. Um, so this is a year of you moving ahead and kind of charging ahead. And I think it's fine to embrace that energy. I think it's fine to embrace that energy of truth and looking for what's true for you, what's true for your partner, and how can you combine those to, to make your relationship even better? And so I think some hard truths may come out of this and that's kind of up to you and your partner to contend with and, and look at it. So this is about putting your cards on the table and creating the beautiful future that you wanna create for yourself and your partner. And that is the sky pile for those in a relationship. The decks I use here are Titania's fortune cards and the fountain tarot. I also have New Year's readings available. So if you are looking for a more specific and in-depth reading for yourself, for your love life, finances, career, anything like that, um, you can head to the link in the description to uh, request your reading. I also have gift certificates available so you can give this gift to someone in your life that you think would enjoy it. If you chose the wind pile, whether you're single or in a relationship, this vision I'm going to talk through is for you. So right when I tuned in, I felt this wind kind of whooshing around my ears and it felt very disorienting. And like, I couldn't tell where the wind was coming from. And then this rock or boulder hit the ground in front of me and I realized, oh, we can get out of this space and this applies to you you can get out of this space so you go off to the side you kind of run to the side not knowing where it's it's going to go but then you're able to look back and see what was actually occurring and that now that you're in a place with a slightly higher ground you have this perspective and you can see oh the wind was coming from that direction oh that's where the boulder came from right so you have this kind of perspective and you were able to leave an unsafe situation for a safe situation let's dig into cards to see what this 
you know, how this applies and what this means for if you're single or in a relationship. So we're gonna start with single folks. If you're single and chose the wind pile, this is your theme for 2023. And we have the snake. So this is a tricky theme to have. The, the snake is all about betrayals, deceit, and problems that are, are going to crop up here. And when it comes to love, the snake can mean like betrayals or, or lying that's happening between, between two people. So if you are dating someone, I think that there are possibilities for someone misrepresenting themselves, things like that. So I think that's part of it. But the snake is also about, you know, kind of deceiving ourselves to some extent. Where are we maybe not being fully honest with ourselves when it comes to, you know, the patterns that we, we have as a person when it comes to dating, the people that we tend to be attracted to, those types of things. So, you know, this is a year of things not quite being what they seem. And we're going to need to get a different perspective to see things clearly. Now let's look at what will happen surrounding this theme. And we have the heart, the lilies, the scythe, and the stork. Okay, wow, does this fit with the vision to some degree. <laughs> um, so with the heart and the lilies, there's clearly some romantic connection and attachment that I think will will be happening. So I think for a lot of folks, this is going to be, you know, there's going to be some dating, potentially some, you know, relationship type thing that's being formed. This is kind of, you know, it's complicated as well territory, I think that we're entering into. So I think that there will be some real romantic and emotional connection that's occurring. Also, another way to look at this, if you've been single for a while and, and you're really not dating, this is also just kind of keeping the status quo. So this is also keeping your love life exactly how it is. Um, so there's potential for both things to exist here. And then what happens, I think the scythe is our boulder, <laughs> the boulder that hit the ground in front of us that kind of wakes us up and we take action and progress in a different direction than where we were going. So things are kind of, you know, either the same or things are, you know, we're dating somebody and we're just kind of letting it be how it is. And then we see, oh, something wakes us up and we realize, wow, things aren't exactly as they seem. And we take action accordingly and swift, decisive action. And we move in a direction that is more aligned for us. So that's what I see coming up for single folks that chose the wind pile. Now let's look at some advice surrounding this. So here's the advice card we have, and we have the hanged man. So this is a card all about seeing things from another perspective. And, you know, we look at this and we think, gosh, maybe I don't want to hang out, you know, here for so long. But sometimes we, we need to do that in order to see things clearly again. So this is a matter of getting a new perspective and maybe we need to kind of just suspend in time suspend in the situation we're in in order to see that so this could just be part part of you know what we need to do this year to see that clearly and here's the other advice that we have we have the two of cups so this kind of brings this whole reading full circle for me because the, with the two of cups this is talking about a cosmic love connection that is completely undeniable we know when we experience the two of cups that we're in love that we're happy that we mesh with this other person and i think why we're hanging out for a while it, especially if you're dating and you're, you're kind of seeing somebody for a little bit we're wanting to see if this is true. We're waiting to see if things are true. But this is saying that you're gonna know if something is amazing and it's undeniable, right? So this is saying you might not need to hang out for so long because you can trust your gut. You can trust that you're going to know what love feels like when you feel it. And you may not need to spend all this time doing this, right? So it's important to remember that, to keep that in mind. and you know, you don't want to settle for less than that. 
and we don't need to put up with BS for this, right? So remember, you know what love will feel like and you can trust yourself. And that's what I have for single folks that chose the wind pile. Now let's look at those that are in a relationship. If you are in a relationship and selected the wind pile, then this is your theme for 2023. And we have the moon. And the moon can mean a lot of different things. And the feeling I'm getting with this particular context is the moon is about recognition. It's about kind of almost shining a spotlight and it's a singular spotlight. So this isn't on everybody, but this is kind of looking at things in particular, looking at a person, looking at a particular situation and seeing what's actually going on. That was the feeling I got from the moon here. The moon's also about emotion. So I think this could also be about recognizing the emotions that are surfacing. How do you feel in particular circumstances and really keenly paying attention to that. And here's what will occur surrounding that theme. We have the crossroads, the ship and the sun. So I'm getting for you folks that chose this, you're not messing around. This is not a year of messing around. You're, you're not going to be stuck in the middle anymore. If you feel like you've been kind of on the fence about a relationship, this could be potentially leaving a relationship. If you've been on the fence about it, you're making a move. If you, if there's something you're unhappy with in a relationship, it's time to address it. It's time to get serious about addressing that issue and moving forward towards happiness. So this is a year of action for you. This is a year of getting off the fence. This You're not in the middle of things anymore. You're you know, going back to that vision, you're getting that higher perspective. You're seeing things clearly and you're taking action. You're taking the, the steps that you need to take to make things differently. And this could be moving on. This could be moving away from something. So I think for some folks, this could be a breakup to be really blunt about it, but I don't think it has to mean that. I think it can also just mean not settling for things anymore and really paying attention to how you feel in particular situations and taking action accordingly so you can move towards happiness and that's what we get at the end here happiness is at the other side of that so we don't really need to fear these changes that we're making even if they are temporarily difficult or challenging for us because on the other side of that is greater happiness now let's look at advice surrounding this year for you. And we have the five of swords here. And with this card, I think of surrendering and I think of letting go. A lot of times we can want to continue to fight a situation that's already lost. And it's time for us to recognize that certain situations are, are lost to us. And there's nothing we can do about it except for move ourselves and move on ourselves. So this is not the time to, to pick back up your sword and, and start fighting with somebody because that's not going to solve anything. This is the time to relinquish, relinquish your weapons, drop your weapons, <laughs> right? And this is a time to see what is not working anymore, what has already been lost and to move on from it. And the last card we have here is additional advice for this year. We have the Six of Swords. So this is another card of moving on. And oh my gosh, what a depiction of these two cards here. Because the Six of Swords I see as, you know, people are getting into a boat and they're moving towards calmer waters. They may not know what's on the other side, but they know that it's probably safer. It's probably happier for them. And there's a lot of hope in that. So this is a time of moving on. This is a time of also letting things go. Maybe you have held on to something, maybe something your partner has done. And it's time, you know, to figure out, okay, am I going to sit and be okay with that? Am I going to accept them? Am I going to forgive them? Or am I just going to move on? And that's just one particular example here. So this is a time to really let go of situations that are lost and to move on to better waters, move on to things that make you happier. And there's a lot, I feel like that that wind people in a relationship have to look forward to, but you have to be willing 
to move on and to go in the direction of happiness, even if that means leaving something behind that you may have been attached to. So this is going to be, I think, a tough year for wind folks, but I think it leads to greater happiness. And I think that at the end of 2023, you'll be in a much happier place. So that's what I have for wind folks in a relationship. If you, you know, really vibed with this reading, um, even though I know this, this was a tricky one for you. Um, and if you want a more in-depth reading, I do offer in-depth New Year's readings, and I will link that down below here. And you can also give the gift of a New Year's reading if you have someone on your list that you think will enjoy this, and you can find that down below as well. I want to thank you all so much for watching and I hope to read for you one-on-one -on -one soon and happy new year to you all and happy holidays.